welcome students today i have taken a, a very very important topic uh, which is um, which is for eighth sem students who uh, have already completed their projects and uh, and that most of them most of them even most of the departments they started doing anti oxidant effect anti oxidant activity of a natural source natural source um there is the main uh, work and also main Uh, experiment which has been carried out by most of the students in this um, um, project work. So, excuse me. So. um excuse me and in this um a topic which i have um, uh, taken how to not only how to do the experiment uh, there are many uh, type of procedures but just i have taken one experiment of uh, how to even calculate the inhibitory concentration of 50 that means ic 50 uh, by means of this um, antioxidant effect uh, how you perform by the simple experiment before that even i have given what is the significance of antioxidants for us in health wise why we want to show this much interest to know the antioxidant content and to perform this is a beautiful experiment without uh, um, uh, giving an activity of an uh, pharmacological activity even you can see therapeutic activity of a herbal formulation without uh, sacrificing an animal this is a very good experiment which can be done by chemical method by means of instrumental analysis so i have taken this topic so i hope uh, this uh, may be a very uh, uh, interesting for the students of eighth sem who have already submitted most of them might have submitted their project uh, report and as well as they might have completed their project even so even this may be very important for their presentations before giving their result and discussion see we i have taken this is a plant of melia dubaya that means it is a malabar uh, uh, neem and uh, we can say it is nila vembu in tamil and um, uh, it was an uh, melia dubaya is the botanical name and uh, it was the we have taken most of the work have been done in the leaf and it is a very good uh, uh, agriculture plant actually cultivated for wood uh, for wood industry that is they have for plywood they their their wood was very strong and very economical for preparation of various uh, wood uh, manufacturing of uh, furniture and everything and but uh, in in uh, in their medicinal activity leaf have done lot of works but we have taken the seeds actually they are very hard seed which i have shown in the picture there is a seed and the powder which we made was very hard but uh, still we dried and uh, we tried by means of hammers hammering and then after crushing with hammers and then it has gone for crushing with blenders 
or uh, blenders. So antioxidants in plant extract, we have taken an example of Malaya Dubaya seeds, dried ex powder have been extracted using ethanol and ethanol extract have been used for the experiment. Before that we should know about what is antioxidant and what all the antioxidant present in our body and what is its significance and what all the things which is needed, what do you mean, what is the mechanism of action, what is its application in health. So I have taken somewhat details, not very much, not very short also. So I have, uh, uh, it will be sometimes little lengthy, but anyhow I will try to maximize, maximum to explain in a short manner. So what is an antioxidant? An antioxidant is a substance that has the ability to give up an electron to a free radical and balance out the unpaired electron which neutralizes the free radicals thereby inhibiting the oxidation of another molecule without becoming free radical themselves. So here we should know that what is the problem if there is a free radical in, a, in our body? This is a question when I was preparing, when I was reading, even I had, so the students will also have. What is, why we, when an antioxidant is like vitamin C and, the, 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 and we are saying that it is very good for even it can reduce the free radical so it can donate an electron and act as an antioxidant, it can prevent cancer, it can prevent, it can help for various cardiac diseases and also even pathogenic diseases can be controlled by means of this antioxidants means so what is the problem with radicals if they are free radicals if they are present in our body is also we should know that so this is just I am giving you the, the picture of a dried seeds of Malaya Dubaya seeds and this is the picture which shows the antioxidants donating electron to a free radical and so that the unpaired electron have been have been satisfied by electron which has been given by antioxidants and they they act as a reducing agent which can stop the oxidation of the oxidation procedure. So that's what the picture shows. So we want to know a substance that inhibit oxidation by means of giving an electron especially what used to contract the deterioration of stored food products. So oxidation of a food products also a problem. So one it is uh, inhibiting uh, the stored food product also in that case also we can think like that the pro uh, the day, uh, our antioxidants. A substance such as vitamin C, vitamin E that removes potential damaging oxidizing agent in a living organism that we know that and some compounds contribute to antioxidant defense by chelating transition metals and preventing them from catalyzing the production of free radical in the cell. You see? So some compounds contribute to antioxidant defense by means of chelating transition metal and preventing them from catalyzing the production of free radical in the cell. So still now I did not say what is the problem if this free radicals are there. So free radicals are known as, what is free radical? Free radical radicals are known as ROS that means reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species. These are chemical compounds found by oxidation. For example, byproduct of metabolism. They are also byproduct of metabolism. Free radicals are unsteady molecules that the body produced by the reaction of environment and other pressures. Environment, calamities, environment, you know that. That means lot of environmental issues and pressure and blood, body process, not blood, 
body process food and it reacts to environment therefore it is totally normal to have some free radical in our body we cannot say it is an it's possible whenever somebody goes outside maybe a passive active smoker or passive smoker and there will be environmental pollutions and these all things can have and free radicals which causes reaction to your body and also metabolic by products also have free radicals which causes damage to the cells so occasionally however the proportion of free radical in the body may increase significantly and due to their high activity will instead beginning to attack the body's own cell and damage the cells that's what we are saying it damage the cells the damage the cells in turn produce new free radicals and also you can development of proliferate growth unwanted cell divisions cancer developments and these all can happen by means of this free radical so our antioxidants can suppress this free radical by donating an electron this is what the understanding by means of this slide which i made so if the body cannot process and remove the free radical efficiently oxidative stress can result and this can harm cells and the body function and lead to an overall aging to the body overall pressure to the body and you can see damage to the dna the picture which i have shown is damage to the dna can also happen that is what the main thing happens by means of free radical in our body so that's why what is the main advantage what is the significance of the main antioxidants like vitamin c vitamin e these all have this action to prevent our body from the free radicals so free radicals you can see are normal side side effects of progressing biochemical responses in the body including immune system reaction and the common metabolic procedures these are expression that is exponentially or ex expression uh, uh, ex uh, ex uh, sorry sorry exceptionally sorry for uh, the small word exceptionally unsteady atoms that have uh, electrons accessible to respond with different natural substrates for example dna protein and lipids free radicals even include hydroxyl group super oxide these all are the free radicals nitric oxide nitrogen dioxide no2 neuroxyl roo lipid peroxyl loo also hydrogen peroxide ozone o3 single oxygen hypochlorous as hypochlorous acid nitrous acid n hno2 and peroxy nitrite o n o o r n o2 o n o2 and you can see dinitrogen trioxide n2o3 lipid peroxide lo2o which are not free radicals but they generally called oxidants but can easily lead to free radical reaction in living organism so you see i have given all the free radicals these all can be produced by means of by product of any metabolism and also externally an environment can also get into your body and also it can give the problems for damage to the cells 
So you see, substances that can promote free radical may be found in the food we eat, drugs which we take and medicines we take, the water we drink and the air which you breathe. So free radical can cause destruction to parts of the cell, cell membrane, protein, DNA. When stealing, this is the word, stealing, when stealing, Again, I'm repeating, when stealing their electrons. Why we are telling that stealing? The stealing process is called oxidation. The stealing process is called oxidation. Therefore, the damage caused by the free radical is also called as oxidative damage or oxidative stress. So, at the point when free radical steal significant parts of the cell, those parts lose their capacity to work properly. The buildup of such harm may result in cell death. In conclusion, increased activity of free radical causes or quickens cell injury and promotes sicknesses. And promote sicknesses. Free radicals cause DNA damage. This picture shows, you can see the arrow which I have given, inflammation. If it causes an inflammation, immediately you can see that is OHA, that is o, o molecules, O2 molecules which can damage the DNA. Metabolic pathways can give OH and even NO2 can also be coming from the smoking area. If a smoker is possible to NO2, NO, nitrous oxide can also damage to the DNA molecules or damage to the cell and OH can be ionized radiation, ionization, radiation, air pollution, OH, ultraviolet ozone, OH and also you can see UV light from sun can also formation of free radicals which causes damage to the cell can be absorbed. And see here, uh, this is an example how the cell is getting damaged and what do you mean the oxidative stress can be? It can cause cancer, vision loss, heart disease, arthro arthritis, stroke, respiratory diseases, immune deficiency, emphysemia, sorry, emphysemia, Parkinsonism and Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's disease, fast aging, obesity, hair loss, other inflammatory or ischemic conditions can also be seen due to oxidative stress. You can see the picture how this we have given, how a cell has been uh, attacked by the free radical becomes shrinked and cell with oxidative stress, you can see how it becomes and completely damaged by means of this radical, free radical. So, you can see what are the oxidants in the human serum, what is personally what we have in our body. Antioxidants, they are antioxidants in the human serum, water soluble ascorbic acid, vitamin C, water soluble Glutathione, water soluble lipoic acid, water soluble uric acid, lipid soluble carotene, lipid soluble alpha tocopherol, vitamin E, and lipid soluble ubiquinol, quinol, ubiquinol or coenzyme Q, coenzyme Q, coenzyme 10 Q, that is the ubiquinol. Bicanol, the lipid soluble. These all are the ox antioxidants which are present in our body. When the deficiency takes place, we are having free radicals, automatically pathogenic defensive mechanism have been affected by means of loss of these antioxidants which are present in our body. So that's why we are giving externally by means of antioxidants by which is present in the fruits and in the plant sources more which we are finding it. So, this is an interesting and uric acid, you know that uric acid, it has many studies are going on in uric acid. Studies of high altitude, studies of high altitude 
when you go to high altitude acclimatization 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 means a change a climate climatic condition which causes a change breathing difficulty supposed to be an hypothesis that urate acts as an antioxidant by, by mitigating reducing suppressing the oxidative stress caused by caused by the high altitude hypoxia so just i gave the explanation for the acclimatization or acclimatization climatization the process or results of becoming accustomed to a new climate or a new conditions and the most important feature of acclimatization acclimatization to a high altitude is an increase in the rate of depth increase in depth of breathing difficulties caused by high altitude uric acid is a powerful antioxidant and is an scavenger scavenger blocking reducing or controlling of singlet oxygen and radicals singlet oxygen and radical which damage the cells when we show that at physiological concentration urate reduces the oxohum oxidant in the blood forming by the peroxide reaction with hemoglobin protects the erythrocyte ghost against the lipid peroxidation this is a physiological reaction which you have to remember and protects the erythrocytes from peroxidative damage leading to lysis leading to lysis of erythrocytes erythro erythrocytes so that's what an important reaction which you have to remember by uric acid how it acts as an antioxidant vitamin c we know that ascorbic acid is required to conversion of the pro collagen to collagen by oxidizing proline 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 re residue to hydroxy proline the amino acid in other cells it maintain it is in its reduced form by reacting with <coughs> another antioxidant which is present in our serum that is glutathione glutathione which can be catalyzed by protein disulfide isomerase and gluta redoxins gluta redoxins so glutathione we should know that it is also an antioxidant which is present in the sea in the in in our body the cell glutathione is a maintain is maintained in the reduced form by the enzyme glutathione reductase and in turn reduces other metabolites and enzyme systems such as ascorbate in the glutathione ascorbate cycle glutathione peroxidase and that is gluta that is glutridoxin as well as reacting directly with oxidants vitamin e tocopherol that is the function of other form of vitamin e and when less when understood although gamma tocopherol is a nucleophile is a nucleophile that may react with electrophilic mutants or mutagens and toco trienols may be important in protecting neuron may be important in protecting neuron from their damage and alpha lipoic acid alpha lipoic acid alpha lipoic acid also regenerates other antioxidants it helps to regenerate other antioxidants when an antioxidant neutralizes a free radical it becomes oxidized and unable to neutralize additional ros that is reactive oxidates oxidative species until it has been reduced alpha 
lipoic acid is a powerful reducing agent and able to regenerate several important antioxidants such as glutathione, vitamin C, vitamin E and coenzyme Q10. Carotenes, they are efficient antioxidant scavenging singlet molecule oxygen O and peroxyl radicals in the human organism carotenoids are part of antioxidant defense system they interact synergetically with other antioxidants mixtures of carotenoids are more effective than single compounds and epicunol that means we are telling about the coenzyme Q10 epicunol acts as a antioxidant and protects cell from the oxidative stress caused by free radical due to extra electron in it carries Obicunol plays an, a supporting role in cellular energy, mitochondria production. And the mitochondria are responsible for production of 95% of the energy in the cell aerobic metabolism. The obicunol or coenzyme 10Q plays a critical role in the production process. Shutting electrons, coenzyme Q10, is a member of electron transport chain. And when coenzyme Q10 receives electron, the structure changes and becomes into ebicanol. The active form of coenzyme Q10. Ebicanol is the active form of coenzyme Q10. The body converts coenzyme Q10 to abacanol as a step in the redox reduction oxidation cycle. The abacanol then passes the electrons to other part of the chain resulting in the production of ATP adenosine triphosphate energy a molecule that stores and transfers energy in cell. And in this way, epicunol plays a key role in creating cellular energy for organs and muscles including the heart and the brain. And nine benefits of the coenzyme Q10, coenzyme Q10, that's why I'm just taking it a coenzyme Q10, there are benefits or more as an antioxidant in our body. It may help treat heart failure. It could help with fertility. It improves sperm count. It has ability to improve. That is fertility. Infertility is very common. You know. That's why you can see it could help in infertility. It might help keeping your skin young. And it could reduce headaches. It could help with exercise performance it could help with with diabetic patients and it might play a role in cancer preventing because of it reduce the production of uh, formation of free radical it sub suppresses the oxidation it suppresses it, it stimulates the cell pancreas cells to stimulate and also it makes the sufficient it makes the insulin to be sufficient in the body and also it creates the body to be prevent from unwanted damage by the DNA. So it might play a major role in cancer prevention. It's good for the brain, for neurons and it is coenzyme Q10 protects the lungs even. So they are having nine most beneficial of coenzyme Q10. Bicunol is very very important enzyme which is present in our body acts as an antioxidant. So, there is two another reactions which is, should be known, two slides I made and it may be apart from this, what is the reaction, that is also they have in our body pro-oxidant activity for this ox antioxidant. Antioxidants that are reducing agent can act as pro-oxidants also. 
For example, vitamin C is an antioxidant active when it reduces oxidizing substances such as hydrogen peroxide. However, it will also reduce metal ions and re and generate free radical through the futon reaction. This is also another sometimes it causes like a ferric 2Fe3 that is ferric with carb that is ascorbate which form into 2 ferrous Fe2 plus and dehydroascorbate and this ferrous can combine with when it is in the reduced form combined with the H2O2 as, and that is hydrogen peroxide and it may form, con converted into an oxidized form of ferric and uh, free radical of OH and OH minus have been released. This the relative importance of antioxidants and pro-oxidative activities of antioxidants is an area of current research but vitamin C which exerts its effect as a vitamin by oxidizing polypeptides. It has the effect of pro-oxidant activity by oxidizing polypeptides appears to have a mostly antioxidant effect in the human body. Usually it has an antioxidant effect in the human body. And one more point about oxidative stress. What do you mean by? Oxidative stress is a phenomenon that can be defined as a state when an equilibrium between antioxidant defense in the cell and an oxidant is disparative or dis disrupted by the effect of excess of oxidants. An example, reactive oxygen and nitrogen species, ROS and RNS respectively, the organic compounds containing sulfur producing alkyl sulfonyl radical RS. And for example, transition metal ions at their lower oxidation states are not oxidant species by themselves. But may provoke the formation of ROS and RNS by reacting with hydrogen peroxide and molecular oxygen, thereby severe serve as not severe, serve as pro-oxidants. It is necessary to note that oxidant oxidative stress has not only negative effect on human body as a free radical have an place that is irreplaceable irre, it is irre, irre, irreplaceable or re, irreplaceable we cannot re, irreplaceable function in living organism definitely one of the most important biological mechanism in which free radicals play an important role in the process of phagocytosis including the defensing agent pathogenic microorganisms. So antioxidant activity how we do are now we are coming to the determination. So this much time I have taken to explain about antioxidant what is the necessity of to study about the antioxidant in a plant source and why we want to know about this activity how it can be having there is the important and what all the physiological what is significant of antioxidant which is present in the plant source which is having more importance and the activity can be studied by various determination spectrophotometric method methods of antioxidant capacity evaluation can be done by spectroscopic method by means of dpph it's a chemical it's a, it's a reaction of organic radical and also abts dmpb fc that is ferric and FRAP that is ferric power reaction of powers and ORAC we will see the details about these abbreviations how they are used and also assay can be calorimetric method and fluorimetric method emission of light by substance that absorbs the light in other electromagnetic radiation difference wavelength can also be obtained fluorescence and uh, Wall, wall, that is for example cyclic holometric method also there is available <coughs> amphrometric method is available bio biometric method available uh, bio amphrometric um, method is available chromatographic technique high performance liquid chromatography directly we can perform 
by means of separating the mixture by, by changing the stationary phase and the mobile phases. It is also you can use by uh, using the detector by visible UV visible spectroscopy or, or, or by fluorescent detection is also possible. And uh, biosensors can also be used by enzyme based biosensor measuring total uh, phenolic content and also nanotechnology methods is also possible by calorimetric method by antioxidant compound like AU and AG can be aluminium, gold uh, can also be reaction salt can be identified. And now the method is based on the reaction of color. We are talking about <coughs> excuse me we are talking about the calorimetry and UV spectrophotometric method. So in this method, we are going to deal with only one method today. These methods are based on the reaction of colored radical or complex with the antioxidant molecule capable of donating the hydrogen atom. The appropriate standard Usually we are using ascorbic acid or Trolux. What is Trolux? Trolux or ascorbic acid is used as standard. They are used as a standard with our plant extract. We will use as a standard. One standard we have to use as an antioxidant, usually ascorbic acid or Trolux. It's applied quantitatively of antioxidant capacity of Trolux equivalent antioxidant capacity of Prolax equivalent antioxidant capacity or ascorbic acid equivalent antacid capacity. The, in this part, the overview, we would like to pay the attention to some method to apply either the ascorbic acid equivalent antioxidant capacity or Tholex equivalent antioxidant capacity. Tolex means 6-hydroxy 2578 tetramethyl chroman 2 carboxylic acid is a water soluble among the vitamin E sold in Hoffman Lee Roche company. It is an antioxidant like vitamin E and also used in biological and biochemical applications to reduce the oxidative stress and damage. This is structure of Trolox. Trolox, you can say, not Trolox, Trolox. Among the most frequent use method, the determination of antioxidant capacity are ABTs, DPPH assays and FRAC, that is as an assay of nitrous oxide scavenging method. So DPP means that is actually the chemical name of the compound is 2,2-diphenyl picryl hydras, hydrazyl and ABT is 2,2-azinobis-3-ethyl benz thiozolin 6 sulfonic acid and FRAP means ferric reducing oxidant power assay and uh, we are today discussing going to discuss about this is the experiment which we are going to discuss today how to perform and how to calculate and we have to see now that is ferric reducing antioxidant power assay it is very important for the students to clearly understand here from here. The ferric reducing antioxidant power assay is a typical electron transfer based method that measures the reduction of ferric ion Fe3 ligand complex to intense blue color to ferrous when it is changed into the Fe2 plus complex by antioxidant in an acidic medium. Ferric Potassium ferric cyanide, when added with ferric chloride in the presence of antioxidant, it is converted into potassium ferrocyanide and ferrous chloride. That shows the color change and which can be identified by the capacity of inhibition effect of antioxidant. 
So Fe3 antioxidant can be converted into Fe3 is reduced to Fe2 by means of calorimetric probe in the 540 to 600 nanometer which we have been identified. And ferric cyanide with an aromatic OH reduction it has been and reducing to even the FEC and 4, 4 plus and aromatic oxygen OH and a low color of ferrous cyanide which is ferric added with ferric and it becomes ferrous proves in blue can be seen Fe3, FEC and 6 the whole three. So this is the reaction which I shown materials required deionized to water Potassium, ferric cyanide, sodium chloride, potassium chloride, disodium hydrogen phosphate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, hydrochloric acid, trichloroacetic acid, ferric chloride, centrifuge tubes, pipette, water bath, Wurlex shaker. Orlax shaker, centrifuge machine, UV spectrophotometer, which we can perform this experiment. We performed this experiment and I have shown my result and so that it can be comparative method you can study. Preparation of the reagent, you can prepare the buffer and 2 0.2 molar phosphate buffer pH 6.6, 8 grams of sodium chloride. 0.2 grams of potassium chloride, 1.44 grams of disodium hydrogen phosphate, 0.24 grams of potassium dihydrogen phosphate was taken in a 1000 ml standard flask and added 800 ml of distilled water and adjusted and the pH for 6.6 .6 using hydrochloric acid and adjusted the volume with deionized water. Potassium ferric cyanide 1% is also needed for you on this experiment. 1 gram of potassium ferric cyanide was dissolved in 100 ml of deionized water. <coughs> trichloroacetic acid 10 percentage 10 grams of trichloroacetic acid was dissolved in 100 ml of deionized water. Ferric chloride 0 0.1 percentage 100 milligram of ferric chloride were dissolved in 100 ml of deionized water. Ascorbic acid 0.1 percentage. 1 milligram of ascorbic acid was dissolved in 1 ml of water. And method how to perform different concentration of ethanolic extract of Melia Dubaya seeds as I told which you have taken different concentration. And at the various fraction of 10 to 100 microgram, we have taken 20 microgram, 40 microgram, 60 microgram, 80 microgram, 100 microgram per ml concentrations we have prepared from the standard, from the stock solution which we prepare for the sample and the standard equally. And you have to add uh, 2.5 ml 0.2 molar sodium phosphate buffer which were prepared by pH checking 6.6 .6 and 2.5 ml of 1 percentage potassium ferricyanide K3 FeCN6 solution should be added. The reaction mixture was vertexed well, vertexed well, stirred well by means of vertexed stirrer and incubated at 50 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes using vertex shaker. This is the vertex shaker. You can see vertex shaker. How we can keep and it will be vertex shaker. And at the end of the incubation, 2.5 ml of 10 percentage trichloroacetic acid was added to a mixture and centrifuged for 3000 rpm with centrifugal machine for 10 minutes to take the supernant liquid of 2.5 ml. And the supernant li super, super liquid which is coming from the centrifuging, you take 2.5 ml and mix with 2.5 ml of deionized water and 0.5 ml of 
0.1 percentage of ferric chloride solution. So the color produced now it is read by 700 nanometer against the blank and the reference standard ascorbic acid using UV spectrophotometer the reading has been taken. Here ascorbic acid was used as a reference standard reducing power of the sample was compared with the reference standard and a control which we have used without the standard and the sample and also we have used blank we have used as a buffer have been used as the blank for comparison of all the reading remember very important reference standard which is used as ascorbic acid which is also prepared in various dilution of 20 microgram per ml 40 microgram per ml 60 microgram per ml 80 microgram per ml 100 microgram per ml concentration of prepared same like test and the standard test is the extract that is we have taken here melia dubaya seed extract which is diluted by means of ethanol that is also prepared in the same dilutions like 20 microgram per ml 40 microgram per ml, 60 microgram per ml, 80 microgram per ml, and 100 microgram per ml. And we have taken the blank is taken as the buffer which you have added in this reaction. And control is also needed for our IC50 calculation. So control is without sample and without standard we have taken all the reagents starting from buffer solution added ferric cyanide and also we have added up to ferric chloride the same procedure taken a solution and that is kept as a control reading so here again i have explained about the procedure for the melia dubaya seeds we have extracted by the continuous subslet method and extracted and prepared a and the sample and standard preparation sample we are doing with ethanolic extract of Melia Dubaya steeds standard ascorbic acid. So here you are taking for standard how you prepare 200 milligram of Melia Dubaya seed uh, that is, this is for sample Melia Dubaya extract in 250 ml standard flask ethanol and it is 1 milligram of 250 ml ml is made in 250 ml standard flask and you will get if it is 250 ml it is not 100 ml it is showed 100 ml i'm sorry it is 250 ml standard flask here there is a mistake in the picture <coughs> it shows 100 ml it is 250 ml i have written as i have written and if you made into 250 ml capacity you will get all a thousand microgram per ml from there you are making all the dilutions in such a way taking 2 ml and from there and it becomes 20 microgram per ml taking again 4 ml from that concentration you will get 20 micro 40 microgram per ml and taking 6 ml and you will get 60 microgram per ml concentration make up in 100 ml and 8 ml from the stock solution 80 microgram per ml all made up by ethanol and finally we are making 10 ml from the stock solution and got 100 microgram per ml this is how the dilution for this sample which is prepared <coughs> of the Melia Dubaya ethanol extract have been prepared in the same manner for ascorbic acid standard also <coughs> we are making it into you can see that uh, all the flask of 100 microgram per ml concentration 50 250 flask 1000 microgram by taking 2 ml you will get 20 microgram by taking 4 ml 40 microgram per ml and by means of taking 6 ml you are getting 60 microgram per ml and you will get 
80 microgram and also you are preparing the 100 microgram per ml by taking 10 ml from the stock solution. So like this, you have to prepare various dilution. There is a mistake which I have shown again and again. That place which is shown for 1000 microgram per ml, it is 100 ml standard flask which is shown in the picture which I have in the, in the slide. It should be 250 standard flask and there is no need to have this 50 microgram per ml in this picture, in this arrow. Just ignore it. And this is just to show you how the dilutions for standard and the sample should be made. Now, take each sample and add sample. You can see, see for example, 1 ml of the sample. You are taking 1 ml of the sample. If it is 20 microgram, take 1 ml of the sample, add 2.5 ml of buffer solution of 6.6 .6 pH, 2.5 ml of potassium ferric cyanide, and then for standard also the same thing for all the standards 20 micrograms 40 micrograms 60 microgram, 80 microgram and 100 microgram and for control only one take directly no sample no standard only 2.5 ml buffer and 6. Point, that is pH of 2.5 ml of buffer which is pH 6.6 .6 and 2.5 ml of potassium for example. So now you have the samples and all the samples have to be vertex well, stir it well and incubate for 50 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes in an incubator and then after incubating 2.5 ml of TZA uh, that is actually you can add trichloroacetic acid in the test tube <coughs> and then centrifuge in 3000 rpm for 10 minutes by centrifuging machine and superintendent liquid add 2.5 ml of deionized water 0.5 ml of 0.5 ferric chloride solution now you add you will get the color and makes it standard for 10 minutes standard room temperature and now you can come for absorbent measuring in 757 100 nanometer as a lambda max using UV spectrophotometer and Semashu UV 180 UV visible scanning spectrophotometer is used for this in our institution. And when we are using the control, as I told, without standard and sample, we got the absorbance in 0 0.392 and the percentage was 0 because by calculating inhibition 1 minus absorbance of control divided by absorbance of standard into 100 automatically it becomes 0 because 1 minus 0.391 divided by 0.391 and into 100 it will be 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and so that it will become 0 value. So you can see that is 20 microgram you had an absorbance of 0 0.256 and, and then when you calculate by means of percentage inhibition by the formula which is shown there and the formula can also be used in this form also instead of going for 1 minus you can go for uh, absorbance of control minus absorbance of standard is simply mathematical expression by divided by absorbance of control into 100. So this is what the calculation which is made. And from which we have to calculate IC50. How to calculate this IC50? IC50 is very, very interesting. We can go far in the, uh, in the Excel. Very interesting if you have the data of the concentration and the absorbance activity by activity calculation. This is the two uh, category which I have seen the previous slide, which you can see here previous slide which we have the absorbance by in seven, 700 nanometer of the lambda max which the absorbance we have seen the control and as well as the concentration of 20, 40, 60 and 50 and we have calculated what is its inhibition and now we want to find out the I, IC50 means it is IC50 for the standard ascorbic acid is 3.9511515 mcg per microgram what do you mean by this ic50 for example ic50 means first you should know it is 
and antioxidant activity expressed in IC50 and comparing with the standard, the half maximal inhibition of concentration, that means IC50 means what and how to control, how to find out how I got this Y value and what is R square value is also R square value, Y value and what is the value of X and what is the value of Y why we are taken as a 50 and concentration and what is the value of m and we this will give you the exact value of uh, ex exactly how much that maximum value which we can find out ic50 just you just listen to me now i will show you just a few things i can show you how you can express in an uh, in an in an excel so this is an excel file which i have shown here now for you to have an understanding how to perform this as a pharmacy students it is necessary for you to know some of the excel application you see here in this already i have because i don't want to waste my time by means of ma uh, uh, making it see for example here the concentration is already i have mentioned here and active uh, uh, this one you can see the activity is also we have already mentioned here understand so how to uh, make this graph how I got this understand this is what I am going to explain you how you have to perform this calculation of IC uh, uh, 50 IC 50 how you are going to perform this IC 50 is very simple very very simple if the student just listen it's possible for you you just say I have just copied this because I want to uh, show you uh, here and uh, also you can see here this I am just deleting we can because already we can uh, we can go for a new one okay and now you see here uh, this is concentration this is activity already we have this data we have just I have shown what we have seen in 700 nanometer in UV spectrophotometer we have observed and we have calculated for the control and we made the inhibition formula as we have shown the inhibition formula you have to remember which I have shown here the inhibition formula what I have shown you just to see here the inhibition formula 1 minus absorbance of control divided by absorbance of standard into 100 or uh, absorbance of control minus standard divided by absorbance of control into 100 by that we got this data this data only I have taken in the y-axis you can see that is what I have taken this is this absorbance it's not necessary already by absorbance we have done this calculation so we want to see now IC50 how to calculate so you see here these two data I have, I have kept here and now <coughs> we have to go for insert for example here you just click insert and go here there is one graphical expression so this is not this is not one and you can go here and just click the second one understand and here it has come now here there is no uh, this is not activity is not needed and now you see what you have to do now uh, sorry before uh, taking this activity itself we have to make it clear nothing and uh, because my old <laughs> parameters are coming what I am doing just observe here I am taking uh, insert and I'm coming to this graphical expression and here I'm selecting this place and it came black nothing is there understand now I'm going for this uh, now I have to go for right click and I have to come right after uh, in the right click you can see this one I'm coming the cursor here and not to move the chart uh, there will be select the data then you will get this this one and in select data you can put add 
and in that add you select the x-axis. What is it? Which one should be x-axis? It should be concentration. Concentration you made it all 2020, it is wrong. Understand? And here also some data have been changed. So I think these all should be uh, not delete. It is not correct. Understand? So, uh, so better we can go for cancel this and uh, a new one because you know uh, while doing uh, I did not uh, check this place and let me delete this or let me make another sheet also it is possible understand a, a new blank sheet can be open and so that it will be easy for you to understand what I am doing here so you select this one it is a, a for standard uh, now we are going to see for standard uh, this is copied all the concentrations and uh, here you are coming to a new customized one here I am just uh, pasting it we can paste this here uh, or like this we can paste this is about their concentration instead of standard you can write concentration understand just I am making it concentration and uh, come to this place what is uh, absorbance is not necessary we have made all the 20 uh, what is absorbance and calculated for the percentage of inhibition and that one I am bringing here in the second step and here I have made it to paste it and this one is uh, inhibition okay inhibition I just put INSH inhib okay inhibition so you can see here these two data are here now we have to go for insert come to this place I hope this will be easy for you again I am repeating so students can easily understand even that first chance was just a mistake and see here and you can see here you can move this little this side and what you should do right click come to select data can you follow here select data and when you select data you will get this in the screen which you have seen now you add and go for x axis cursor here and select the concentration okay and next you can go for the y axis and this is you go and select this inhibitory data and click here you will get the graph here as shown in that and put ok and even you can put here also ok understand now you got a graph here and if you want now you go to that add place and you can go for chart uh, you can give uh, chart title also you can give or axis in this y axis you have to write what it is concentration not concentration sorry inhibition am I right y axis is inhibition ok inhibition and then you come to the x axis you can write it is concentration concentration in mcg per ml that is what you are given understand mcg not mcy i typed mcy so mcg and that is all understand and now you can again go for add place go for it is written that that there is trindlin in that you just click here the arrow more option there is more option 
and when you come to the more option you can see display the equation on the chart display the r square value on the chart i have given display the equation on the chart and r square value you see here this is the value of very very important most of the student may not have done this that's why i was taking this much time to explain you for uh, the keen explanation i am giving you understand so you see i just make it enlarge you got y is equal to 5.19x plus 23.936 r2 is equal to 0. Point, r square not r2 r2 square is equal to 0.9982 so from here there is a calculation for ic50 is there listen up to now i have come to the graph now till now i have not gone finished is ic so here y is equal to a value x and uh, you are getting the m so you have to find out the x actually you got a y uh, r is r square also you got now you can say that here Uh, it says that this value from this value i have calculated even here i have shown here very clearly that is y mx plus c y is equal to y is equal to mx minus c also sometimes it may come in minus but here we are talking about only the uh, a positive understand so here y is equal to mx plus C. Y is equal to m x plus c. Understand m x plus c. Sometimes it can even come in a wrong. If your 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 absorbance are your can be. in mx minus c also but now we are not talking about that here we are just seeing here this value that's what i gave in the graph two of them but only bolded mx plus c so what will be the formula x is equal to y minus c by m am i right y minus c by m so what will be the formula x is equal to y Minus C divided by M. Understand? Why minus C divided by M? Here I have written the formula. You can see Y minus C divided by M. That one just forget about that. And now, how to find out the uh, my value? So you can see here. what is the value of here also again from here what is the value of the m is this one and c is there only x you have to find out what is the value of m here you can write what is the value that is also i have shown how to write and make it see here i have written y what is the value c what is the value and m what is the value i have written so first y is 50 here why we are calculating as 50 sometimes i see 90 is also possible now here we are considering y first y is taken as 50 understand and next one is you know uh, what is the value of m understand m that is uh, y uh, sorry y minus c what is c c value what is the value of c C is equal to here. You can see that is y is equal to m x plus c. C is equal to twenty three point. It is given twenty three point, not even one point. You only twenty three point nine three six from the graph. I am not writing from somewhere else. Next one is m. What is the m value? You see the equation I have written. M y is equal to m x plus c. Here m is 
0 0.51 see the equation in the graph 0 0.5198 I hope you got it huh? 0 point 0 point I just put it here some 0 point and this is 0 point 5198 can you see here can you see here that is what even I have written in the in the in my slide also I have shown see here 50 concentration C is equal to 23.936 M is equal to 0 0.5198 this is how you have to calculate see very clearly and then you come to this place now this is the place you have added this y c now you have to find out the x what is the value of x is what is the value of x x is the value for ic50 x is the value of ic50 which we don't know understand so x is the value of ic50 what is x x here it is read y minus so here you keep, keep the cursor and go here and keep the cursor here and what is that y you have selected y and it it did not y here only you have selected y this one okay y and not you should put here sorry you should keep the cursor in the x value and you have to keep it equal to sorry and not equal to and then you are going for this one y and it shows f18 okay now what you have to do yeah, minus just the sign minus and next you select c and then it should be divided by just put the slash and select m and go for enter you got the value of C here. You got the value. It is 3.9. You can see here. Even see I can bold it. And I can show you. What is the value. See here. It is enlarged. And you can see here. And it shows that. You are. I see 50 is 3.95. 15198 that is the value understand so it's very very interesting and very easy for you to calculate students you should do it yourself once you try once you listen see I made a lot of mistakes even I made uh, mistakes makes you to study very clearly I feel like that I'm not very perfect man I'm not a computer person but I can do some calculation by means of practice only I also studying like you. So, just have an idea. Very easy. You got IC50 3 point. So, same thing you can go for. Uh, I just did the same calculation. See, now we will go for the next one. That means, for example, here, can you see this is for for the sample for various we got we found out value for uh, IC50 is 12.345 is a value microgram per ml IC50 we have seen for Melia Dubaya extract. So you can see that the IC50 value the inhibitory activity of the Melia Dubaya is more stronger than the ascorbic acid it's higher concentration it needs higher concentration of Melia Dubaya but when you see standard in a very low concentration itself so anyhow we have when compared to the inhibitory activity when compared to the antioxidant activity with the it may not be very uh, um, it's very in low concentration itself it is having a high inhibitory activity in ascorbic acid but but our extract also we cannot say it is in 50 and in twa, in certain higher concentration it is also having the activity antioxidant activity so it has most of the time they have been applied for 
they have been used for various ailments and various uh, various treatments have been utilized by this Melia Dubaya seeds can be used so it has antioxidant effect and uh, but when compared to ascorbic acid it's not much uh, that's what here we can see the red line which is the graph which shows the uh, the ferric oxides activity of the standard is red color and uh, blue is the um, the extract which is shown in the picture anyhow I was uh, able to explain about how to do that calculation but anyhow you try once all the students so it will be easy for you in this study in this study which I performed which we performed in this study and the reducing capacity of the extract the, the fraction using ferric and ferrous reducing assay and in this uh, for example you can see here it's not very clear because it is just hiding so I'm just making it's very simple understand so very simple for adjusting like this you should not get very easily and this study reduces the capacity of the extract by the fraction by performing using ferric and ferrous extract reducing assay in this experiment the yellow color changes the pale green to blue color depending on the concentration of antioxidant in the sample and the antioxidants of phenolic acid sand flavonols are present in the considerable amount in the ethanolic extract of melia dubaya seeds and all the samples showed reduced capacity in the concentration dependent manner and that's what the end of today's class and if possible I will I was thinking to explain about another method about nitrous, nitrous oxide salvaging method I don't know how far it is useful anyhow I tried my level best to make you to understand how to calculate IC50 try to calculate yourself thank you all the best for the eight some students thank you